hey guys welcome back to another new video so in this video we are going to review another custom rom for samsung s3 so i have reviewed few roms for this device uh, in my previous videos so based on android 9 and android 7.1 so the best known android 9 rom is pretty useless based on android 7 cyanogen mode 14.1 quite usable but also have bugs this one is for selection remix rom based on android 7.1 this one is also have bugs, bugs it's much better than the last one I have reviewed. So we are getting it. So the, the perfect ROM for uh, Samsung S3, I will find it out for you guys. And in the future, I have already downloaded a few more ROMs for this device and I'll be doing like review on those two. So as you can see, Restruction Remix and the, the device is booted up. So going with the device, so I have changed few things here and there on this ROM already. So there are customization available, not a lot, but pretty much many things are there. So the de device looks very beautiful on this custom ROM actually. So going with the device, so as you can see here, there are a few things I have changed like the battery icon and the, the position of the clock in the center and few other things here and there. So all these things. So let's go and check out first, according to the setting. So like the last ROM, this ROM also takes time to like load the setting app. I don't really know why maybe all the 7.1 rom has this issue in android 9 is much more longer so maybe but this one is much better than the last one as you can see the wi-fi is connected also here so going with the device about phone so as you can see here rros resurrection remix and this one is an official build and there is this one is the last build maybe for this device and also device name is i9300 so this is specifically for i9300 not for another device like i9305 so if you flash this rom on that device it will break the device so android 7.1.2 the security patch level is from 2018 pretty much useless so going back so in the setting we are getting like wi-fi the wi-fi is connected bluetooth is working wi-fi is working so i have found that in when i connect to the wi-fi this device sometimes it reboot automatically but not always sometimes it does reboot and going with the other setting in the wireless and network section we have like hotspot section so if you really want to share your internet from this device you can do that too even if it has like 5 gigahertz band selection let me check not really although there is a selection but i, I don't really know i cannot get it so it is maybe present so pretty much useless if you want to share because this is a 3g device i don't really think anyone going to share internet from this device so going with other things in the configuration section there are a lot of things you can do with this device like changing the ui and other things but there is no dark dark mode on this device i haven't found it but pretty much you can do a lot of things like controlling the volume panel and other things because my device are like that has like broken volume buttons and power buttons so this rom is actually pretty pretty usable for me like i can double tap here to turn off the screen whenever i want i can turn on the like screen like just pressing the button because double tap to wake up doesn't support on this kind of devices and also if i want to like use volume just volume section here and then it will appear here so it makes the device pretty much usable more than the stock rom you can do these things with your Samsung S3 if it's running on a stock ROM, but you have you need a third-party application, which doesn't work that well with the device. Going with the display section, auto brightness does work, proximity sensor does work. I have tried phone call with this device. Phone call is working just fine. I have removed the SIM card right now for the video, and also the brightness level you can select it, whatever you want. And also going with the night light you can turn it on or off it's up to you and there is a few other things related to the display so you can like calibrate the display setting if you go to the live display section you can choose how what color profile you want or anything like that so there is a lot of things going on in the display section and i have also changed mine like this as you can see here it's the color profile is standard usually it's in dynamic also you can do color calibration according to your liking so all the options are available going with other things notification sounds and other things are working just fine and also if you go to the storage so it's 
take uh, it's took like 5 giga 5 gb of storage and also the memory you can see how much ram available on this device so if i go to the memory section as you can see it's a little bit laggy and maybe yeah setting has stopped i haven't seen actually this setting stopped option in before but this time i don't really know uh, anyway the battery the the, the RAM how much available so 341 right now and going with the battery actually battery is doing pretty well my device has very pretty much bad battery on this device but in this one the battery is doing pretty well here and also if you go to there are some gesture settings here like jump to the camera double tap to sleep so and also advanced section senior you and other things here and Google and other things so this device doesn't come with like uh, your G apps, you have to flash G apps uh, with the ROM. So when you flash the ROM, you can flash the G app too. And going with the application, there are a few applications came with it. I have installed YouTube here, and I did try to install like Free Fire on this device, but whenever I tried, some like it reboot itself. I don't really know. And the the camera is working perfectly fine, as you can see here. You can see me right now. So camera is working perfectly fine and the video recording and everything works perfectly fine i don't know if there is any like gcam available for this type of device but rather than that everything is working also the music player is pretty good and also we have like audio effects so all the applications actually open pretty fast just on the setting it takes time and also there are features like omni switch if you turn on you can get the bar here which allow you to like customize whatever you want to do in this device there are pretty much a lot of things going on and going with the youtube it does work it doesn't take a long time like the last rom it also take pretty considerable amount of time but it does work because it is the latest version of youtube application so as you can see the application is on and it takes time so i have reviewed a rom that one is here actually i have uploaded this video very long time ago but i scheduled it to upload today so the raw on the video is here and everything as you can see it's working not really pretty smooth but it works perfectly fine no issue so i have to say that this is pretty much usable rom for samsung s3 if you want better rom keep eye on my channel maybe i'll i'm trying to find out which is most usable and uh, useful rom for this device so that's all about this round. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.